Hey, hey, hey everyone, Jason here. We're back on the uh, Minecraft farm. Oh, it's a lovely night here. Uh, I've just been uh, reading up some Minecraft uh, in my Minecraft magazine. Uh, also, I'm back from holiday. I probably should have said I'm back from holiday first, but you know what? Yeah, like. Uh, however, recently I've been working on a new uh, a map. You know how I love my Minecraft adventure maps, or like mini games maps, uh, so I decided to make one, but fear not, it's not going to get in the way, it like it literally took me like a few, it took me about an hour in total, because I started it this morning, uh, before I went to keyboard lessons, and I finished it after I came back from keyboard lessons, uh, so yeah, it, it wasn't that big a deal. Uh, it's a very good map, though. I, I think uh, a few people I know would enjoy playing it. Uh, I have to host it, though, uh, because certain things need host permissions to do. Uh, and I feel like today on the Minecraft farm, what we want to do uh, is we want to kind of go about uh, finishing off uh, the roof, uh, which is uh, quite a way off um, from fi being finished. Uh, you know, of our hotel. This this hotel will draw, drum in a lot of money, I'm sure. A local villagers, I hope I I hope to God they're still alive, but you know them being a bunch of idiots. I wouldn't be surprised if I actually walked into that village and found that they were all dead. Also I haven't checked on the village that uh Barney was supposed to be operating. But he hasn't not been on the server for ages. So, you know, that, that could have gone to pot as well, so one more thing that could have gone wrong. Yep, me being the optimistic chap I am. I can hear a spider. A spider. There be spiders in the farm, no other. Oh, there be many spiders. There be many spiders. I'm sure. Oh, geez, there's a zombie as well. Is there some sort of cave system underground that runs along my hotel? Because that's just not that's just not cricket. Do do do. So yeah. A uh, last uh, episode of Minecraft one that I did before I went away got like five views, which is quite good for the series. So we're continuing it. We would love to know. Yay. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm actually gonna make some uh, some flipping. Um, I'm not. I'm not. It's, it's in the tip of my tongue. Some ladders. Some ladders. Shit, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm too stupid, guys. I'm just too stupid for this planet. I. I'm just too stupid, you know. I don't. I don't deserve to be on this planet. Goodbye, cool Minecraft dad. Just kidding, guys. I ain't gonna do that. That's borderline. That's borderline. Um, now, I think, I feel like the roof does need a, a bit of, uh, needs to be a bit taller. I'm thinking of having a few more rooms. Uh, this is going to be actually two rooms, I believe. I'm, I'm thinking of adding in a balcony, but that's just a, uh, an area, that could be just potentially an area for mobs to sit under in the middle of the day to, you know, prevent them from burning. In the in the daylight, it's just you know. Obviously, as a hotel manager, I don't want creepers uh, in my uh, vicinity of my hotel. Uh, that's not something that would be preferable. Right, let's, let's take this. So you take this, pop that there, that there. Uh, what is this sand? Yeah, sandstone. Um. Pop that ladder there. Yeah, good. Okay. Now, while well, I'm waiting for them trees to replenish, do I not have an iron pickaxe? <sighs> Shit, I should have made more sticks. Do I have any here? No, do I have any? Uh, no. Turns out no. I'm gonna go check if any trees are still up. Um. Ah, yes, plenty of left. That's excellent. Um, so yeah, um, what I want to do is I do want to finish the hotel sooner or later. That that would be quite preferable. But 
so in the meantime, I think we'll have a nice chat. What? What interesting topics are there? Well, um, Dan, Dan Bull, who's a YouTuber who I'm subscribed to, actually made a ton of videos whilst I was away. One of which was a rap about uh, the new Assassin's Creed Unity. I don't think it's actually come out yet, though. Uh, so I'm, I'm a bit confused. Uh, if I were him, I wouldn't be making raps um, about, you know, a game that hasn't even come out yet, because I know there's a big fuss around Assassin's Creed Unity, but I'm actually worried that it might be bad, because they've changed the parkour physics. I'm, I'm not really happy about that. I'm, I'm a bit, actually a bit scared about them changing the graphic, you know, the, you know, the, the parkour style. I mean, I, I'm hoping the game is good. I don't play a lot of Assassin's Creed, um, because yeah, I'm an absolute noob and I get stuck on levels due to the impossible parkour. I'm on a level in Assassin's Creed 2 and I've been on it for ages. I'm never completing it. Chances are. And so we have to park up this massive tower because this stupid urchin girl, you know, she, she just tells you, okay, let's see if you've been learning some parkour because it's after you get taught a new trick that I'm still not able to master. And she says, yeah, go up that, go up that uh, thing in a certain time. You know, and I'm just like, Ezio's just like, oh yeah, piece of cake. And I'm like, no, that would not be a piece of cake because I'm a freaking noob. I, I, yeah, but if the park parkour is easy in Unity, and I get a lot of complaints about it being easy, I'm actually going to play it because uh, the way I see it is, if it's easy, go ahead and do it. Right, let's get some torches up in this business. I mean, serious business with these torches. Okay. Oh, uh, where's the moss stone? Anyway, I'm getting. We're gonna have loads of mossy stone from the from this thing. This is gonna be our main supplier of beautiful mossy cobblestone. Beautiful, beautiful mossy cobblestone. Um. So yeah. Uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, I'm a bit nervous about, uh, you know, because it's a good franchise, the Assassin's Creed franchise, I don't want it to be ruined by one game, it nearly got ruined by Assassin's Creed 3, because I got, I've heard about mixed reviews of Assassin's Creed 3, Smosh apparently think it's epic, because they made a rap about it, but I think like Dumble, they haven't played Assassin's Creed 3, so they, they didn't know it sucked, they played it before they came, but they, uh, saw it before it came out and they thought, you know, let's just make a rap about it. Uh, because we know the theme, rappers of the world do not do that. Don't rap about something that, a game that has never come out, that hasn't come out yet. I mean, I, I, that's just, that's just foolish. That is foolish. Um, but yeah, that is pretty damn foolish, if you ask me. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. GG, never make a rap about the game before it comes out. So, yeah. Alright, so, uh, on, on another topic, a less distressing topic, um, uh, you know, Assassin's Creed being, Unity being bad is a possibly, is just a possibility, but a very distressing topic. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, there's, there's other good stuff that's been going on. Um, I believe not much has been happening on YouTube. However, the gaming community has been very het up since Gamescom has been around. I'm, I'm not going to Gamescom. Uh, I've, I've not been to Gamescom, uh, this year because, uh, you know, it's in Germany. It was on the same time I was going on holiday. I'm too young, too young to go to Gamescom. Um... Might I might uh, I might one day go to Games Con or E3. Uh, probably not. I'll probably never go to Comic Con because I've heard the game game theorists, you know, uh, going on about how you know it, impossible it is like the line waiting time, and I just think I can't I can't be bothered to wait that long. So you can't really win at Comic Con. So that's why I will never go to Comic Con. But I probably would go to maybe Gamescom. 
That sounds reasonable because there are a lot of attractions there and you don't have to wait in lines, I don't think. Um Yeah. Sounds that actually sounds good. I might go to Gamescom. Uh, lots lots to see, new games, old games even. Uh I've seen some uh footage, like some vlogs from Gamescom, and they look they look very fascinating, like there was all sorts. It was even a League of Legends uh thing up. Oh jeez, it's getting dark. Um, and and uh, what I'm thinking is, uh, you know, League of Legends has been out for quite some time. I'm basing this on the Dundle, um League of Legends rap, which came out, I believe, a year or two ago. So this is quite fairly an old game, I believe. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to dismiss League of Legends. I mean, if it still holds up popularity. Then who am I to complain? I mean, if something's popular, go with it. I mean, Minecraft has been around for ages, but they just keep updating it. I think that's what does literally keep games alive these these days. You know, updates like that. It's uh, it's quite fascinating, but uh, you know, yeah. So uh, I think we'll call this an episode, guys. Guys, um, so thank you for watching. I've been Jason Paul McDermott, and as usual, have a lovely day. Um, I'm just gonna finish off by uh, placing a few blocks up here, because uh, you know we gotta get this place high. Uh, as you can see, you know we like getting high on the Minecraft farm. We especially like getting our buildings high. Okay, there we go. We're just a few blocks off completion, I believe. Uh, you know, a few blocks of height uh, out of completion. Uh, let me just get my cobblestone out, and we can actually do a ceiling um, on the next episode. So, thank you for watching, everybody. My name has been Jason Paul McDermott, and uh, subscribe for more. Uh, I recently gained a subscriber, actually. That's, that was excellent. So, if you want to join the cool crew, the cool crew here, uh, then just make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you on the next episode. Just, just look up, Jason. Look, look up. Thank you. Bye. Bye.